Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to share a little bit of information, location regarding Fuerteventura as to where to go when you want to get a license, if you want to get some tackle or you want to get some bait and just to explore the island a little bit. So Fuerteventura is part of the Canary Islands and the Canary Islands are an autonomous region of Spain but they're a lot further south than Spain, they're just on the northwest coast of Africa and as you can see the land there just to the right is Morocco or Western Sahara and then you've got this archipelago of seven islands which is the Canary Islands so if you worked from the left to the right you've got the three small islands which are La Palma, El Hierro and La Gomera and then just next to where the green marker is you've got Tenerife and then just to the right of that the circular island is Gran Canaria and then to the right of that we've got Fuerteventura and then Lanzarote just above it so there's Fuerteventura and as we zoom into Fuerteventura we come down to the island which is the second biggest island in the Canary Isles and you'll see where the airport is Here's the airport, just up here. It's sort of central, a little bit further north than south, but it's in the middle of the island. And it is just south, five minutes drive of the capital there, Puerto del Rosario. So Puerto del Rosario is just up there. And we can zoom into Puerto del Rosario. This is not really a large tourist destination. It's quite industrial. You've got a large port with big freight ships coming in and out it's good to look around it's great to see in the harbour especially if you're interested in fishing and fish you see a lot of fish but this is where you want to come if you need to get your fishing license so you'd go up to this office just up here the Edificio Agricultura Ganaderia e Pesca now this is where you'd want to go to get your fishing license and you can see at the top there is a big roundabout. Now this is on the ring road that goes round Puerto del Rosario. You can come off of that and it's straight down that main road on the right hand side. It's quite visible. There is a big sign. And then when you need to pay for your license you would go straight down that main road and you would go to the Caja Siete Bank. Now this bank is one of the few banks that allow you to pay at the desk for the license. A lot of others have to be done on a machine, which can be very confusing. So it's a lot easier just to go straight down the road into that bank, pay, and then you have to go back up to the office to get your license. So once you've got that, you may want to find some tackle shops. And there are two tackle shops in Puerto del Rosario and we will show you where they are now there they are over there just over to the eastern side of the port right on the outskirts of town they're very close to each other but that will allow you to get some tackle as well if you're in the area now also if you want to get some bait in the area on the northern side of Puerto del Rosario you've got a Mercadona supermarket now i'm not going to show all the supermarkets but i am going to show the supermarkets on the island where you've got a fresh fish counter that's where you're going to get your best bait so mercadonas have fresh fish counters and there's one there just as you go north from puerto del rosario it's on the main road you can't miss it very easy to see now as we leave puerto del rosario we'll fly a little bit south down to past the airport there down to Caleta de Fuste. Now Caleta de Fuste or El Castillo is um, quite a good base if you're going to be fishing the whole island. A lot of the shoreline around here is rocky marks, some of them quite deep, some of them shallow. There's a few little bays so it gives you a good chance to lure fish for Benito or bluefish, you can live bait or you can bottom fish as well. So, Caleta de Fuste is a great base, sort of central to the island and 5-10 minutes south of the airport. You've then got your Euro Spa, which is just down here. And that has got a big fresh fish counter that will allow you to get your mackerel, your sardines and your prawns ready for fishing. 
just north of Coletta de Fuste is another Mercadona. So this is south of Puerto del Rosario, south of the airport, and just north of Coletta de Fuste. So it's in between them all. And there's a big Mercadona. And then also next to the Mercadona is a China warehouse, which that sells some fishing tackle. It's cheap, but if you're in a fix and you need some hooks, small hooks or a bit of line, you can go there and get it. And it's very obvious. It's just off the main road, a massive China warehouse and the fishing tackle sections quite big. So that's Calais the first day. What we're going to do now is fly up to the north all the way to Coalejo. Now this is another area where a lot of people go on holiday and you'll see it here. It's quite shallow. It's very sandy around this area. Um, so it, there's going to be a lot of rays and and uh, butterfly rays, angel sharks to be caught. Um, it's quite a lively town, a lot of nightlife. So if you want to mix up your fishing and have a good time, Coral Echo is a place to go. So the tackle shop here is down by the harbour, just there where the pin says. And then there are two supermarkets, two Euro Spars, one there, as you can see, just at the back of the town. And then there's one a little bit further down the high street, which is just there. These you'll be able to get some fresh fish in both of these. But if you want a big fish counter just outside of the town, as you can see there is a Mercadona supermarket which has a big fish counter, fresh fish every day. You'll be able to get your bait there. So you really want to be able to get hire car when you're going around um, and then it'll allow you to explore this island. So we're going to pop over to the west coast up on the north of the island and we're going to pop over to El Cotillo. Now this is not really um a big place at all it's quite a surfer little town village um there's a great big surf that runs from the from the south of this village or town whatever you want to call it you can always lure fish that area but there's no fresh fish counters you'd have to get your fish from the harbor down there there is a little harbor and there's no tackle shop in el Cotillo. it's a great place to explore Lovely surf beaches and lagoons to the north, but um, not very big and not a lot to do with getting fishing tackle or fishing bait. So the next place we're going to go is further south. It's on the east coast. It's past the airport and it's here. And this is Grand Tarahau. Now, this is a small town that's facing south. It's sort of just south of the middle of the island. Big harbour port there. And what's good about this place is that there are three tackle shops. One, two, three. Now all of these tackle shops um, are open most of the time. And they have enough stuff in there to keep you going throughout your holiday. And it's about a 20 minute drive from... Coleta de Fuste, um, which would then be about an hour from Coileco to get here. So, once you leave Grand Tarahau, you can go south a little bit further, and we'll come to Costa Karma. Now, I'm showing you Costa Karma. There's not a lot there. There are some small supermarkets, like there are in all of these towns, but there's no supermarkets with a fresh fish counter here. These are just small uh, Padilla supermarkets. They're going to have a bit of frozen fish, but there's no fresh fish but it's quite a, uh, a good area, a lot of hotels, very nice sandy beaches, and as you can see, for night fishing, great for the stingrays, butterfly rays, angel sharks, etc. Then we're going to go down a little bit further to where the next Mercadona is, and we're going to go to Esquinto. So this is another holiday area where there are a lot of hotels and there is your Mercadona just there in that area. But if you're heading south down to Marahable, you'll pass this on that main road that you can see wigging in above all the hotel complex and you can just pull off, go into the Mercadona, get your bait and head further south. So 
as we go further south, we're going to go to Mohable. Now, Mohable is the place where you want to go if you want to see the big stingrays in the harbour. Um, they're swimming around all the time, especially when the fishing boats come in. But as you can see from the shoreline there, sandy beaches all the way around, great for night fishing. Don't fish them in the day. There's a lot of people, a lot of sunbathers on them. So only do them at night. And then what we can do, we can zoom down into Mohable and we can see that there is a Euro Spa down there. That has a fresh fish counter. Um, and you can also see that there is a tackle shop just up out of town. And there's also a tackle shop well, not so much a tackle shop, but another Asian shop. Loads of big warehouse, lots of things in there. And you'll be able to get some hooks and baits down there. So there we have it. That is the main towns with the main tackle shops and fresh fish counters that you need. And I hope they have helped you maybe suss out where you want to base yourself when you're out in front of Ventura. If we zoom out here, there we go. You'll see the south of the island very sandy on the top side there you've got Cofrete which is a very very long sandy beach coming down from the mountains lovely there's some big fish there but it's a long drive and you have to go all the way over them mountains and if there's a northerly wind blowing it can be quite uncomfortable there big surf but it's spectacular and well worth a visit and you can see this whole area is very sandy down the south which will allow you to target your rays and butterfly rays angel shark species so there we have it that is for aventura there is a lot to explore a lot of islands a lot of beaches a lot of rock marks a lot of bays endless fishing but you don't always get guaranteed fish and that is fishing so enjoy yourself when you're there have fun I hope this map has helped you find the locations of places that you may need when you're out there. And until next time, tight lines.